Hello everyone and welcome back to A Swift Look. I am Zoe and today we are going to be talking about Taylor Swift's weekend in Rhode Island with her boyfriend, some of her closest friends. I don't know about you guys, but this, it didn't shock me, but it was like, oh, whoa, they're having a fun party. It reminded me if you were in the Taylor Swift community back in 2016, 2015, Taylor Swift used to throw these big 4th of July parties at her house in Rhode Island with all of her friends. They get like a giant um, bouncy water slide type of thing. It was just, she posts all these pictures on social media. It always looked so much fun. And really since like 2016, she hasn't had those types of gatherings, parties, or at least to the public, like what we've been able to see, which is fine. She obviously can do whatever she wants. And I think part of it is her wanting to be a lot more private, but selfishly as someone who loved seeing all the content from those parties, I missed it. Now, we obviously didn't get content from the people at the party, at least not yet. Um, and I do feel slightly bad that their privacy was invaded, frankly, by these paparazzi a million miles away taking long lens photos to capture who was at the party. But regardless, we still have, we still know who was at Taylor Swift's Rhode Island party this weekend. And so I thought we would break it down. Um, also, for those who don't know, maybe you don't know that Taylor Swift has this big house in Rhode Island right on the water. It's a, yeah, it's a massive home, um, a vacation home where, as I said, Taylor has thrown parties in the past. It does seem to be a place that she spends a lot of time in the summers. Obviously, this summer she has been out of the country. So this was kind of the first time that she was able to actually use the house and, and, and enjoy the house in the summertime. Um, but it's always, I've always thought it was just such a beautiful home and would be such a nice place to spend a weekend, spend a week, have friends, enjoy, relax. Like it's just gorgeous. So here's who at, here's who was at Taylor Swift's home this past weekend in Rhode Island. Obviously, Travis Kelsey, the Chiefs had their final preseason game on Thursday. And so I assume Travis went from that preseason game to Rhode Island to be with Taylor Swift this weekend. Obviously, Travis was there. Joining Travis was his teammate, Patrick Mahomes, his wife, Brittany, their kids. There was a photo of Patrick and Travis and Taylor on the balcony. I think Patrick was carrying um, his daughter, Sterling. Um, and as we know, like Patrick and Brittany have kind of gotten, they're, they're, they're now a part of this group um, with Taylor. And it's kind of nice too, because I feel like anyone who's been in situations where you're having to like bring friend groups together, um, it can always be kind of awkward, not awkward, but like you want everyone to get along and you want everyone to feel comfortable. And it's nice that Travis has been able to bring along his bestie Patrick or one of his besties Patrick and Patrick and Brittany have been able to like get in with the rest of the group. It's just, it's nice because everybody kind of has a friend and someone that they're close to. So you have Patrick and Brittany. You also had Jason Kelsey and Kylie Kelsey that were there. Photos of them at this gathering. Again, love that the in-laws essentially, I mean, not technically yet, but are getting involved and going on this vacation, which is so fun. Um, we've saw, we you know, we've, we've seen Taylor bonding with Kylie and Jason last, or I guess earlier this year during the NFL playoffs, spending some time together. So nice, they got to spend some more time together. And obviously Jason and Kylie went to Taylor's concert um, over the summer. You had Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively, of course, Taylor Swift's best friends basically, and their children, Bradley Cooper and his daughter. And you might be asking yourself, Bradley Cooper, how does he fit into all this? Well, Bradley is dating Gigi Hadid, who was very good friends with Taylor Swift. Um, and I think Patrick, or I think Bradley and Taylor were even friendly before um, before Gigi, like before he started dating Gigi. But I didn't see Gigi. I don't know if she was there, but Bradley was definitely there. And then I also saw that Channing Tatum and Zoe Kravitz were also there. And we know that Zoe uh, is really good friends with Taylor. Um, and also I feel like Channing Tatum and Travis Kelsey are like very similar types of guys. Like Channing Tatum could play Travis Kelsey in a movie <laughs> if he wanted to. Um, and then obviously every single person brought along their kids. So it was just, I mean, you had Patrick and Brittany's two children. You had Ryan and Blake's four kids, Bradley Cooper's daughter, Jason and Kylie's three daughters. So that's a lot of kids. 
um, all in one home <laughs> running around, but also really kind of fun and like fun for those kids because they're all roughly around the same age. They all get to play together. And it's just so crazy. Like we live in a y universe where Jason Kelsey and Kylie Kelsey's kids are playing with Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes' kids and Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively's kids and Bradley Cooper's daughter. Like what a random world we live in. Um, anyway, who knows again if we'll get any content from this gathering. I kind of assume we will not. Um, but it is fun to see them back together again. And obviously Travis and Taylor have been apart for a long time. So <clears throat> nice that they get to be back together again. I think Travis and Patrick have to be back in Kansas City this week for to get prepared for their first game of the season, which is next week on Thursday. Um, so, you know, I think there probably won't be a ton more, like there won't be a lot more content from Taylor and Travis until the first Chiefs game, which I said, again, is a week from Thursday. So I assume that in the next week or so, Taylor will venture to Kansas City um, to spend her time with Travis and kind of go back to being, get back into her WAG lifestyle, which as I mentioned before, I can't wait for. I'm so excited. Uh, and we'll recap all of it, of course. So anyway, that is the recap of the Rhode Island weekend. Um, let me know what you guys thought, if you were surprised by any of the people that were there. Um, if you thought it was weird that she maybe didn't have other people there, like share all your thoughts, feelings, concerns. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.